We are here today to teach you a lesson in humanity. Here is a quick snapshot of what has been happening the past 11 months. The facts on children and education in Gaza. Before October 7th, there were 625,000 school-aged children in Gaza. As of today, none of them are attending school. An entire population of children have missed out on a full year of school and will miss school for the foreseeable future. More than 16,000 children have been killed and thousands more injured. Hundreds of thousands of school-aged children are starving, severely ill, or at risk of disease, and have no access to health care, clean water, or sanitation. As of February, UNICEF estimates that at least 17,000 children in Gaza are orphaned or separated from their parents. And that number is much higher now. Shame! Every single day, more than 10 children on average lose one or both of their legs since October 7th. Shame. This is considered the largest child amputee crisis in history. Shame! Shame. More than 400 teachers have been killed and at least 3,000 injured in the past 11 months alone. 85% of Gaza's education infrastructure has been severely damaged or completely demolished. All 12, all 12 of Gaza's universities have been destroyed by Israeli bombing. Since October 7th, at least 41,764 Palestinians have been killed by Israel with countless people unaccounted for under the rubble. Shame. This is considered one of the largest genocides in modern history. Since October 7th, Israel has dropped 70,000 tons of bombs on Gaza, more than World War II bombings in London and the nuclear force experience in Hiroshima. The UN humanitarian chief has described Gaza as un inhabitable with at least 70 percent of its infrastructure completely destroyed the US Department of Education is also silencing voices of people that are speaking up and educating people about the direct targeting and attacks against students teachers and educators in Gaza by also silencing the curriculum what books are taught, penalizing teachers who speak up and teach people the truth about Israel's brutal military occupation and apartheid. All children have the right to an education that is uninterrupted by war and violence. Educators should have the freedom to teach the truth about Palestine and Israel without fear of retaliation.